Hi Pisces, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three of Pentacles just flew out. Tune me in here, Spirit, to anybody who's aligning to this reading, aligning to this message. What would you like to talk about here today? So yeah, they're showing me also, I'm being shown like blue skies and there's some kind of association with what I just mentioned um, with like the bar going up. I don't know quite what they mean, but with the three of pentacles here, there could be something that is accelerating in your life. There might be something here. And actually this is at the bottom. We have the sunflower as well. I'm hearing give it a try. So that might be something that is symbolic for somebody. If you are wanting to give something a try, um, it's almost like there is going to be a acceleration with that certain thing. Sometimes the Three of Pentacles does also relate to the work, you know, uh, category. So this could be something involving your career or something specific that like if you give it a try or if you put an effort into something, there's going to be... Um, a lot of success with that or there's going to be like a, a movement or progression forward. We do actually have the root chakra at the bottom as, of this deck as well when I was shuffling. Um, yeah, I'm hearing it's safe to go and they're actually pointing more so with the red color here and the root chakra as well and we have the emperor beneath that. Some of you here need to hear the message that it's safe to start something. Um, or it's safe to put a lot of effort or work into something. So I can definitely see this could be about just your career or it could be something specific that you feel like it's ready or it's time for you um, or you're getting kind of the like the message or the go ahead from spirit that if you put this kind of dedicated effort into something, it's going to grow um, is something coming up here. But let me get a few more cards. So what else, Spirit? What would you like to say here for this message? Yeah, they're showing me like a wind moving. Yeah, look at that. The Six of Pentacles, like a wind move, moving really quickly this way. And they're referring to, again, some sort of with the tower here at the bottom, Two of Swords, some kind of rapid progression is what I'm getting. And I feel for some of you, this could be specific in which you feel again guided to maybe do something kind of drastic or do something sudden um and with the way this like water is pouring from the teacup here again it's giving me the feeling of like an like a like an acceleration or you're about to receive you know more for example it could be more money and something that you're putting effort into or more of just a, a space of being in a receptive energy um Let's see. And there's a there's a very positive energy here. This does want to come out the tower um, of almost like a, a feeling of with the sunflower too. There's kind of a feeling of encouragement here for whoever needs to hear this. It says summertime bliss, divine alignment, genuine happiness, positive vibes attract desires. I just saw 505. So yeah, the number five or 555 with a tower coming out here. Um, I know 555 or fives do represent change. And with the six here too, I don't know, it just kind of feels like this is a message for somebody that um, they keep showing me something like hitting the gas pedal, something about movement. So let's get a few more cards and see what exactly this is about. But that could be something that is specific for, you know, for some of you watching. Maybe you need to hear this message because you're wondering if like something is going to move forward or you're wondering if it's time to like hit the gas pedal, so to speak, with something that you're doing. And um, yeah, let's see. Tell us a little bit more, Spirit. Tell us a little bit more about what this message is speaking of here. What else would you like to say? The Queen of Cups. I'm seeing we have the Six of Wands here at the bottom. 
Yeah, I'm hearing also take off your coat, but they're showing it. Yeah, there's the chariot, there's the movement. Um, take off your coat, but they're referring to it in more of like a metaphorical way of like if we have like a coat on or if we have like heavy weight on our chest sort of in a way, we take it off for there to be more space for movement. So of course the chariot does talk about movement as well. In this here, there's like a snail here. Um, and I feel like this is something where I do feel like this could be, it's going to depend on what it is for everybody, but it's just there's some kind of message here of the right time to move, the right time to act, or it could be something a bit more of just like a, like a broader message of the fact that at this moment or this time in your life or coming in in the next few months, there's going to be a lot of green lights that movement is occurring or that like the time is now, if that makes sense. Like there could be specific things that happen with this hummingbird here too. And she's actually on top of the, the hummingbird. And there's something with this flower here too, the attraction with the sunflower, positive vibes, attract desires. And this hummingbird with the flower here, it just feels like there's maybe some of you have been hoping for almost like in a way the fruits of your labor to begin to show um, with the tower. Or maybe you, because I know the change has been coming up, I believe the last couple of readings in the collective, that some of you have been guided to make a change in your life. And I feel like if you have decided to do that, it's almost like you're going to begin to see the results of that change or the yeah kind of like the results and the good energy that comes from whatever path that is that you've chosen to move into um but i do feel like also on a more like practical note spirit is saying that it's really important to be positive and to be optimistic right now because it's almost like what you're putting out there what you're thinking what your you know vibes are and like what you're believing is coming right back to you right now and so with the Queen of Cups, I feel some of you could be in a space of maybe you are there already to where you feel kind of open, you feel kind of positive, you feel excited. And this is just kind of indicating that there's a lot that's going to be returned to you with the Six of Pentacles and that drip of water here. But if you don't feel like, you know, you've been in a positive space or you feel like there's certain things that... Um, you're worried that if you like if you take action towards this or if you open yourself up to this change or to this maybe specific direction that you're taking that maybe you um, are not feeling positive enough or it's like it's not going to give you the results that you want but there's just something about the actual energy or the vibration that you're in that's really important here with this it does say also write a gratitude list um, and there's some kind of connection here with the Six of Wands and this flower and the Queen of Cups. I'm hearing this is not how the story ends. I swear I said that before. I think it was the last reading, the collective reading. Something came up about that. So I feel like some of you need to know that your story, whatever story that is, if it's your the story that you've kind of identified with or your love story or just like the story of your success, um, it's like what you... It's like the path, it, it basically it's just like it's not over with your life. Not that your life is over, but it's like there's something specific that is like going to, to bloom kind of like a flower. There's more to for you to experience at this chapter. And with the tower being behind it, that's kind of where like if there's been a change of direction or if there's been... Um, at some point you were on the unreceiving, that's not really a word, but the unreceiving end. It's like I feel there's more for you to experience. Um, I'm hearing better late than never. For somebody very specific, you could be doing something that you felt that maybe you should have done before. So maybe it's getting a certain degree or certificate, or maybe it's the fact that you feel like you're regretting the fact that you didn't leave this job sooner or maybe you should have you know believed in yourself sooner um but spirit's saying that it's better late than never everything is is kind of like at the right time so this could actually be for some of you if this found you and if you resonate with this this is almost like a message to prepare you for 
the influx kind of of energy that you're about to receive um, and to sort of prepare yourself in a way to fill up that makes sense now with that cup that I had seen kind of filling up um, because it's it's kind of like a double message on one end this is a message that you are open to receive but it's also like when you fill up your own cup of self-love of gratitude um, being optimistic with this like nectar here too of the flower there's some kind of advice for that or this is where you're already at to where you're beginning to fill up your cup you're beginning to fill it up with positive thoughts or positive experiences um, or something specific that you've been putting like intention into and that's one part of the message with this shell here too like if we were to open the shell there's a lot to open up to receive um, but yeah that could be specific for somebody if you feel like you should have done something sooner um, you may just start to feel this rise of energy or momentum where you almost like find what clicks for you or maybe you realize that this change or this direction was always meant for you all along or this shift in perspective and so it could come with a level of like realizing that this is where you need to be and you're like on the right track but that also could come with maybe a sense of regret as well but as I mentioned in the beginning with the first message that came up about the with the three of pentacles something came up about like if you put the effort in or something I feel like that's also going together with this because if you put the effort into that specific thing or that specific path or maybe even it's something like just the self-care practices or the gratitude or the optimism it's like the result or the output that you will gain from that is going to show you that that is indeed kind of the right path or that this is what you deserve if that makes sense um let's get some of these here and see what else what else would you like to say here spirit for this message i don't know why i'm hearing girl power so i don't know if some of you say that or there's something about girl power um, of course you don't have to be a woman to resonate with this reading but if you are a woman there could be something specific here about your feminine energy with the queen of cups maybe there's something with again the flower i kept kept mentioning um this could be tapping into your divine feminine energy and even if you're a man too just your feminine uh, energy because it feels like there's maybe something about that of like maybe you're you're doing something this is only going to be for like a couple people but if you're doing something that may be like traditionally or societally has only been more of like what men do or it's something that um i don't know there's some role that you're taking on that you are having to embrace your feminine energy but also knowing that you can accomplish whatever it is that you want even if you aren't accepted there initially or even if you have to kind of overcome some hurdles but um if it's not that that's only for somebody it just feels feels like in general just having a sense of belief in yourself um whoever you are watching it's the same message but yeah just having like this sense of solid belief and faith in yourself right now let's see what else spirit would you like to say there's something though about i'm, I'm also hearing fairy dust so I don't know why it's like these messages of, of almost like like magic somehow like um, how to put it there's like some sort of magical touch that can be like fun to affirm or fun to play around with um, I'm not sure how to describe it but it's something that if maybe it's just like putting more little magic into your day or if you've been doing things like that if you've been um affirming certain things or if you've been affirming that your life is magical or that you are magical or whatever it could be it's like that's something that's helping to raise your vibration 
and attract in a lot of desires for you with this sunflower. It's like there's a there's a positive energy here. What else, Spirit, would you like to say? Yeah, I'm hearing Spirit say, don't stay where you are. We have the waiting game. Yeah. So again, this is all about movement. There's something about like, don't stay where you are. The sacral chakra, I believe this is also associated with like the feminine energy too. Um, and it does give me that sense of like the nectar, the attract attracting energy, the magnetism, the creativity. But um, yeah, that could be a message for some of you. It doesn't mean that that's for you if you are happy where you are or if you, you know, it's just there's something about if you feel that you are in this waiting game and that kind of hourglass keeps just being in the, in the, there's just no movement with something, or you feel like you're twirling your thumbs waiting for something to happen. Um, I feel like that is that message coming up again to accelerate. Yeah, see, there's the motion I was picking up on, the movement, a lot of movement to come, a lot of action, or this is the prime time to take action towards certain things. Yeah, having the power to take action. I'm being shown somebody sharpening their skill at something. So again, for some of you, this is like a message with something that you feel passionate about doing or something that requires almost like this level of strength and stamina, um, or maybe you are sharpening your skill, sharpening your talent. Maybe for some of you specific, you're going to school to get some kind of degree that you feel is better late than never, or you feel like you are just um, sharpening yourself up kind of for just the success that you want to achieve. And this is Spirit's message for somebody that that is what you should do. That is the message is to believe in yourself. If you need to kind of affirm to yourself that you have the magic or you have the magic touch or the, I don't know, fairy dust is around you. There's just something like that here. But, um, yeah, just on a more simple term, though, I just I feel like this is really just this, yeah, I, I don't know, faith and beliefs coming up again, Ace of Wands. Let's get some more cards for some detail because this is kind of the same message here. Is there anything else, Spirit, you'd like to say for this message? Any other detail for what needs to come up here? Yeah, I'm hearing letting let the clouds pass. Here's the tower again from a different deck. So yeah, for some of you watching this, there could be something that it almost feels like you're on the tail end of it, though. But it depends on where you are in the timeline. Some of you may have already gone through this tower moment, this massive shift or change, and it's almost like you're waiting for the final dust to settle. It's like if there's a um, a building that falls, you know, where we need to clean it up first or wait wait for kind of the dust to settle so i feel like let the clouds pass is what spirit said if this is not something literal that you've changed or that you've walked away from or that you're rebuilding your life in a different direction this could just be more of an internal thing um to if you have like certain thoughts maybe or if it's certain worries that may come up it's like let them pass like clouds in your mind so that you can begin to just watch them sort of dissipate. Um, but I do feel like that could be literal for some of you, or not literal, but it's like something that is specific for you, where you may not feel like you have all of the tools or all of the, maybe you are waiting for something right now, you're waiting for like that dust to settle, which could be anything for you specifically, like maybe you have to wait for something to finalize, or you feel like you have to wait for not for things to be perfect, but for things to kind of be a bit more settled for you to take that action. And so Spirit's just saying that the clouds will pass or maybe giving yourself a little bit more time for those clouds to pass. But after the cloud passes, it's like then it's time to ignite a new passion or to start over um, in a certain sense with like the flame here and the star up in the sky here. Yeah, there's something about this like power. I'm, I'm hearing move on over and I'm seeing someone like push somebody out of the way, but it's not in like a forceful way, 
This could even be like some of your guides coming up to say that they are like really supporting you right now with something and it's like to move mountains for you almost or like to assist you in really moving away whatever these obstacles are that have accumulated but i do think that for a lot of you it's also you um so maybe there's something that you're just tapping into your inner power like your reservoir of power of strength of whatever that is that you can tap into to believe in yourself again and to accomplish something um it just feels like yeah it feels like and if, if so i'm hearing spirit say if you have not felt this happen yet this kind of could kind of be where with the tower to come up some of that dust that's still not settled could be still around you almost in a sense you know maybe it's like metaphorically speaking there's still a bit of a dusty kind of tinge to the the environment around you the the air is not crystal clear there's still some kind of fog in the air um but i feel like i forgot what i was saying right before that but yeah it feels like the message here is to Yeah, have that strength. Let's get some of these here. What else, Spirit, would you like to say for this message? For someone specific, too, you could be going on your path alone, whatever that means. So maybe you're choosing to start your own business, for example, or you're choosing to, or maybe you've come out of a, a relationship or a breakup. Um, or maybe you've just chosen to believe in something or do something that maybe other people have not fully supported you in. Um, or you're just, I don't know, you're just like you're taking on a lot of personal kind of power right now. Um, and Spirit's kind of indicating that if you are walking the path alone, that it's okay, that you do have what it takes and you do have the support to keep going on that path. Um, to follow, it feels like with the sacral chakra, follow your passion. With these two cards here and the sunflower too so that could be a specific message for somebody that your passion is the obviously like what to follow is your own passion not somebody else's or not somebody else's idea of what success is or what makes you happy and fulfilled so and this could even be about relationships too this kind of feels like it's just a, a general kind of broad message here where it may not be about one specific area for everybody it could be but it could also be just more so you're getting into this space of like tapping into a more juicy energy within yourself of like in general who you are or in general what makes you feel passionate what makes you feel alive um what is your own individual needs and passions and and purpose and daily things too with the queen of cups like what came up earlier about like self-care or self-love opening yourself up to receive sort of and when you do that it's like you do have to tap into a certain level of knowing what that is that you do need um and it feels like some of you may have not felt open to this for a long time and that could be the tower that parts of you are breaking apart that have been kind of rigid you know so it's almost like there's a certain breaking apart to allow the light to come in that roomy quote um what is it something like opening the light for the wound or, or the wound the light to come into the wound something like that um and i feel like that's kind of what i'm getting here but this is yes it could be a wound but it also could be in general like how do we open ourselves up in general to receive just light and happiness and joy and love um and so yeah as i've gone deeper into it i can feel like that's one of the main messages here with the sunflower and the gratitude and the positive energy is that some of you are going to find this if you haven't yet that certain things are breaking apart okay and it feels like it's probably already happened for a lot of you and so you it's almost like you find that the sun was there all along you know so it's it's like when we start to break apart these pieces of us 
our energy becomes more magnetic to what is right for us and also to a more positive frequency. So that makes a lot of sense with that bar that was rising at the beginning of the reading because I feel like that's what this is saying is that maybe you were, you know, kind of too with that cloak reference too, like there was too much of a cloak around you that you had put there. You had put that cloak unconsciously maybe there and through your experiences where it's like a, a, the light couldn't go through the cloak because you were shielding yourself away from it because you didn't think maybe you deserved it or there was various factors. Um, and I feel like there's more of an acceptance and a direction of the light coming in to allow that passion and joy to finally reach you. So this could be even passion in a romantic partnership. It could be passion for your career. It could be just passion and love for yourself, just feeling better, um, wanting to maybe, or starting to feel happier or just like more optimistic about your future. Um, just different things like that I'm getting here. Divine alignment. And Spirit was saying too how it's important to have that though with this six of wands and that flower so if you have been feeling a bit negative maybe i don't feel like a lot of you have if, if this reading resonates with you but if you've had moments where of course you know maybe you feel a bit negative or you feel a bit um like like there's just some maybe you slip back into an old pattern or whatever it could be for you. It's like I feel focusing on gratitude, focusing on how you can make the most of your current moment and your life. And again, believing in yourself that it's time to move and that life is about to open up doors for you. Um, that's some advice from spirit. So let's get some of these and see what else we have. And then I will get a few of our specific cards like usual anything else spirit that you would like to say for this message today for whoever this is for i'm hearing for someone specific there may be i'm hearing i'm seeing someone like take a picture or like a photograph of a memory and i'm hearing spirit say something along the lines of like look forward to a new memory or something about like how it might be time to put that to rest the it's not like you have to forget about the memories that you have to disregard them but somehow that could be the parts of you breaking apart here is memories or past events and situations which don't light you up anymore anyway um they're not a part of your new passion and they're not going to be maybe a part at least in the form that they were um a part of your new kind of attitude or new vibration so we have trust in the invisible we have another snail here so we have the snail here too so yeah the symbology of the snail could be important but of course how i see it is it's very slow moving and i feel like with this says here trust in the invisible and with this chariot here too she's actually holding the the little things of the snail here to guide it like it would be a horse so I feel like if there has been kind of slow movement for you, that's what I was mentioning in the beginning, that there may be a lot of rapid movement that will develop in the future. And this could also be the indication that you need though, that the divine alignment is coming into focus. So if things have been very slow and you've had to keep your faith in the invisible, you've had to go through this like breaking apart of the tower looking through the fog of the dust and having to trust that the light will reach you again. Um, this is Spirit's indication here for somebody to trust in that invisible force because it feels like even though things have been slow, like they said, better late than never, there is going to be a reason. And there's kind of this like foggy haze in the background here too. Because at the bottom we have preparation and then we have luck. 
the squirrel and the chestnut, the duck and the chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. So, yeah, I feel like Yeah, again, with the preparation here, I do feel like some of you, this message could reach you to help you to prepare. Um, because with the two snails here, it's going to depend. But some of you could be, again, how to put it, like maybe you are in this sort of invisible transitional phase right now where... Spirit kind of wants you to hear this message and to prepare yourself so that it's not like a sudden shock factor, if that makes sense. Like maybe with the waiting game, um, how do I explain it though? It's going to be different for a lot of you, the circumstances around it, but maybe it's something like you're in a place right now of setting your intention or being positive for what you wish to experience in your future but you kind of know at the same time that you're not fully like maybe ready or there's certain things that you have to still wrap up or to align within self or within your environment and this is a kind of a confirmation that those steps are being taken in the background and even if you can't always see them they have been received by the universe they've been heard they've been received and the steps are being taken in the background so it's like a message to prepare yourself because they don't it's like spirit doesn't want to flood everything in at one time but you're preparing for a breakthrough they're showing me somebody going around a circle like a, i'm hearing ring around the rosy but then the circle is broken and we go we um go to a different path in that circle. So yeah, it feels like whatever is going to be experienced is going to be very new for you. It's not going to be the same thing that you've dealt with before. Otherwise, you know, what the, the tower wouldn't be here if we were to just go around the same cycle. So I feel like Spirit's almost preparing you, if this is resonating with you, for, again, almost seems like an influx of energy, which can be very foreign to you initially, or maybe it's some kind of completely new life in a, in a sense or it's a new role that you're going to be playing and although it's going to be very rewarding and fulfilling for you there's a certain level of preparation and acceptance of that to come in so it feels like something where you have shifted your focus it's like if we have a focal point that's been over here and we've been focusing on that one focal point we've shifted it now onto a new focal point and then that new focal point is like this higher vibration and higher experiences that you have now aligned yourself to more appropriately because now the tower has broken apart those parts of you which were focused on things that were not for you if that makes sense so yeah i feel like the sacral chakra they're actually saying could be really important here as well with when it comes to you know maybe preparing yourself in that area or department to either focus on what really again fulfills you what really are you passionate about or even others of you too to help you to align to maybe a new relationship um new friendships things that things that allow you to open yourself up with the queen of cups to experience more pleasure and more alignment so yeah let me grab some of these specific cards here so when i went to go grab these other decks uh, or this deck here I, I kept hearing a message of like the doors are open if you open them or the doors are all opening but you have to open them so that also makes sense with the queen of cups here that shell and the tower so it's almost like there's a lot of doors that 
doors of positive experiences of, of these things that you can be very grateful for to receive but we also need to open the door it's like if the door is open but again we're standing with that cloak and it can't really penetrate us or we can't see the door because there's too much we've we've cloaked ourselves from even seeing that there's a there's a possibility for something to be open there then it's going to be very difficult to walk through that door and to experience it so that could be a message also for this preparation that the universe is preparing something and priming you kind of for some certain experiences but we also need to accept them and be open to them and that can be sometimes difficult if we again with like the focal point reference if we're focusing on maybe something that has already passed which no longer serves us or no longer resonates with us but maybe we're so focused on that that we miss the opportunity that's opening itself so i feel like that's a message here too um and there's really a strong message here about faith too. So I'm not sure if some of you have been really praying a lot or you've been um, really asking the universe for something or just specific things to happen because it feels like faith and belief and prayer is also really important right now because it seems like the prayers are being answered. But we, again, it's like, not to say that you're not open to it, it depends on where you are, but some of you I feel are very open to it. And this is just a confirmation that it's about to start to reveal itself more to what those doors are and allowing you to actually walk through those doors. But maybe some of you also feel like you're still in this tower moment or you still need to pick up some more pieces of this tower. But the doors are opening in the background It's kind of interesting because I just did a reading um, on my Patreon about what's happening behind the scenes and I just felt drawn to do that topic and it kind of makes sense now because I do think that a lot of what this is is like things are happening behind the scenes that with the trust in the invisible. Um, so it's like maybe a lot has been happening behind the scenes for a while and it's like we're getting closer to the reveal of that you know the curtain has been maybe covering those doors for whatever reason divine timing or the snail here maybe you had to further align yourself to to receive that you know so is there anything else here spirit specifically that you want to say about these doors or just like anything else here for this reading So we have your career and business path is being guided by higher power at this time. You are being asked to have faith and to utilize your abilities as this will help your endeavors to grow and to prosper. So yeah, there's the higher power. I definitely feel like this reading is, is a clear confirmation of a lot of higher um, powers. I do want to point out too that this was here at the bottom. We have Jesus coming up and I shuffled it again and it came up again here at the bottom. So some of you could resonate with that, with Jesus. And I also want to say thank you so much to Tiff for sending me this deck, this beautiful Divine Masters Oracle by Kyle Gray um, from my wish list. Thank you so much. And yeah, it feels like some of you have definitely been, if it's just there's a lot of faith here that I feel some of you have been having a lot of faith and hope and um, it really is kind of a a strong message of the universe is the universe God you know is taking care of something right now with that star in the sky here too and Sometimes, you know, or a lot of times, this does happen in very mysterious ways. So with that card too, trust in the invisible, there's just something in this reading I'm getting of like, if we could take like a, you know, if we could see everything going on simultaneously um, in the spirit world and kind of like take an x-ray vision behind the scenes of everything, we would see how things are aligning and that we would understand that things are happening for 
our best or to guide us to something that maybe we wouldn't have been guided to or we wouldn't have chosen if we didn't have the faith that things are being taken care of, you know? So I just, there's a strong message here of like, a lot is developing right now in the background and behind the scenes in your life. And so just really having faith and maybe just having some kind of daily prayer or ritual or routine to keep yourself in a state of gratitude and trust in the universe because it's not always to our liking. It's not always going to happen in a way that we that we like initially. I mean, usually no one likes to go through this tower moment because it does break things apart and it does sometimes come with a certain level of sacrifice. But that's kind of the message too, that if you're going through something like that, really having faith that there's so much behind the scenes that you can't see right now. So try not to, you know, micromanage things or to keep yourself in that place of focusing on the negatives or focusing on what's going wrong when you know in your heart that like you are being guided and you have that if you tap in deeply enough you will feel that sense of relief that you know that you're guided like that we're always guided so it's just the fears coming from the ego telling you that maybe things are not working out or that you're focusing on the negatives because you're afraid that that it's not working out but that's the message that it is Okay, so we have peace, harmony, and balance that has been lacking in your life will soon be restored. So they're telling me two things with that message. One is that if you have been going through like kind of a longer tower moment, depending on what that is, maybe a couple weeks, couple months, longer, it's like that final, again, dust is, that's what they were saying, the clouds will pass. The, the, the final parts of that are kind of passing. And so that's when you're going to see that light come in again more light that will help you to feel that that tower moment, the worst of it, the challenge that you had with that particular tower moment, the pain will sting a lot less. It's not going to be as hurtful as maybe it was initially, or maybe it's not going to be as chaotic as it was initially. Um, so that's about to end the tower moment. But others of you, this is just saying too that if you were in a certain area of your life that had been not right for you um the tower came in to help you to go towards a direction that will ultimately bring you more peace and harmony because spirit the universe god has been saying here that there has been some area of your life that was no longer bringing you peace and harmony and balance um and that's the result of either your prayer or your affirmations that have made way for that but sometimes that does come with the tower needing to come in so that it can make room for that so just trust again i guess is what's coming up trusting that all is well anything else spirit specifically here that you want to say for this message Yeah, some of you here specifically may have had a lot of things kind of disrupted in your life recently. And it's like that's going to calm down a lot. Maybe you felt like even your health has been impacted or you feel like you're, maybe it's your living situation or just there's been a lot of chaos. It feels like that's going to definitely calm down a lot. Yeah, so your life will start to move forward in a new direction and you will be met with the realization that you are outgrowing certain connections in your life. You may feel an unsettling energy at this time as your future may seem uncertain. Even though you may not see it, a higher power is currently working behind the scenes, paving the path forward for you. Wow. We have, you are being guided to expand your horizons at this time and leave your comfort zones behind. Try to be open to the new opportunities that will soon come your way. So this is just confirming a lot um, we also have someone who you wouldn't expect it to will make it known that they have feelings for you. I just saw 1010 as that card, as I put that down, 1010. 
Bridges will soon be mended. An apology from someone close to you will soon come in, creating the opportunity to make amends. So I don't know what 1010, the angel number, means, but that seems to be really important for these two cards here. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of you, this is very clear. It's just like it's time to leave your comfort zones behind. And there's so much here about a higher power. Is there one more, Spirit? One more. Your prayers and wishes have been heard. What you've been manifesting will soon be delivered. I think this came up before too. And at the bottom, we have, you will soon rise above a conflict that has challenged you in the past, which will allow you to move forward towards happier times ahead. So I kind of feel like for some of you here, um, this conflict that you're rising above could be many things. For some of you specific though, it could be about this apology. I don't know exactly what's happening with that. If you're rising above it because you, you know, move on from it, or if you're rising above it because you come together in a certain way. Um, I will do an extended and we will go deeper into it and just see what else comes up for those of you who want some specifics. I think I'll get the manifest it oracle which has some specific things that could be manifesting here because i feel like this is kind of the the doors here of like leaving the comfort zone right behind you but it's a bit mysterious there's a certain mysterious element here with the snails and i don't know something about it feels kind of mysterious where there's a It's almost like a gift that's wrapped, you know, wrapped up that like we don't maybe know what's inside of that gift. But if we trust that it's going to be something that we really love, then we'll be happy with it, you know. So, yeah, I would say this message here is a clear. I just want to keep I, I guess I keep wanting to confirm it. Um, they want me to keep saying it, that if you really resonate with this and if you found this, if you could take anything away from the reading, it would be that, like, getting out of your own way and really having faith and belief in whatever your higher power is, because they're coming up really strongly. I'll just say spirit for the sake of the reading but wh whoever it is that you you know connect with or label as um spirit is strongly showing up at this moment in your life to respond to what you've been seeking and what you've been wanting i keep it in the, these like roomy quotes so somebody here definitely could um love roomy i love roomy too um because there's something about Rumi uh, and the 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 poetry from Rumi. Um, what you're seeking is seeking you. So I'm going to get one final card from this Divine Masters Oracle, and then I will go over to the extended. And I'll put the title down below. A few of you asked last time um, if the extended was below. It had a different title than this reading. And I do title it just to kind of show what the main message was about in the extended. So it does have a different title, but it will be linked down below. If you'd like to just purchase it individually, it will be available on Gumroad. But it will also be over on my Patreon along with the other exclusive readings every week if you'd like to join over there. So let's get one final message here from this deck, Spirit. Is there one final message here that you would like to say for the viewers? Yeah, there's something about a, a present, like an actual gift. Some of you could be getting an actual gift from somebody, but I feel like this is more of like a, a gift from Spirit. 
and it, I just keep getting that like you may not see that gift right now but it's like it's gonna feel like that when it comes in and it may not be like one particular thing it could just be the that door you know it's almost like if you have a choice between a couple different doors and like if you choose the right door you like hit the jackpot sort of or you get some kind of special gift and it's like you're choosing the right door or spirit is aligning you to the right door that's going to be the winner if that makes sense like there's something like that where yeah so we have saint germain violet flame alchemy release the old and make way for the new yeah, let's see what's at the bottom. We have, don't know how to say it, so I'm not going to butcher it, but we have spiritual awakening, interconnectedness, understanding the inner workings. So, yeah, I feel like this violet flame here, some of you may work with the violet flame. It feels like it's very even important right now. And I was actually going to point that out earlier. We had a lot of purple violet cards. Um, so with like the violet and the spiritual awakening here too, this gives me the feeling of like the crown chakra. There's those doors again opening. It feels like the doors of your consciousness actually um, and the doors to something that you're asking for or creating um, are opening here. And it does say release the old, make way for the new. So that's a lot of what came up with the tower here too. I feel like it's time to really release the old and if this is i feel like this would reach somebody also at a time where maybe you feel like you know that this is happening but maybe there's still a part of you which is clutching on to like a little fragment of that old brick of that house that fell down um and it's like you are really rapidly expanding beyond that and it's something that's happening on a soul level that your comfort zones of what used to <clears throat> resonate with you, what used to kind of fit with you, um, even just in the way of, this feels more like a larger thing, like it feels like in terms of your actual, again, consciousness or vibration that is no longer fitting where it once did. And it's really time to accept these blessings so yeah, anything that you can do here to kind of finalize that or like wrap that up when it comes to really cleansing away any residual, old, outdated energy. Because it's about to get, there's about to be a lot of action. There's about to be a lot of doors they keep wanting to use. So I will leave it here. I really hope this reading could find whoever it's meant for. Um, if you did enjoy the reading, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will go over now to the extended and we will go much more in depth here with some different cards and just see what else comes up. So thanks for being here and I will talk to you all next time. Take care and lots of love.